Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, I'll be changing my projector's lamp, but for that, I bought two new lamps. One is, uh, as you can see, with a case and a lens on it. So this is an OEM lamp with a case, ready to install. This is original lamp without a case. So this is a naked bulb but original Epson branded. The projector I'm about to use is Epson EHTW650, which is a quite good projector. I love it. It's full HD, three LCD, two HDMIs, four point Keystone, and it has a good throw ratio. So I can just fill my 135 inch huge uh, screen, as you can see. So what I'm about to show you is like in the Matrix movie, I will show you one blue pill or one red pill. All I'm offering is the truth. So let's just take the jokes aside from the Matrix movie. All I'm about to tell you is about the truth. The cost of the projectors, lamp life, is always an issue when you want to purchase a bulb projector. So when it comes down to the cost, this cost me about $16 range. And I will put the numbers on the screen when I talk about it in the editing. So this is $16 range. But this is an OEM alternative brand bulb with the case and with the front optic element. What optic element don't uh, mix it with the original lens of the projector. This is just a focus fo for the light. It's like a car headlight uh, focused lenses. This is a bare bulb with uh, original branding on it. So this is $25.5. As you can see, this is expensive than the one with the case, but why it is expensive it is original is it going to make any difference we are going to take a look at this and is it going to change uh, how we apply it is it going to be easy to apply the bare bulb instead of the original one is it too difficult we're going to find all these out in this short video as much as possible and you're going to be seeing the test standards some visuals i will keep it short and then we will make the conclusion is it worth to spend your money and how much uh, is it going to cost you in the long run uh, to keep a bulb projector in your home for home cinema setup or daily TV use? Let's try to find out first install, test and then the conclusion. First of all, I'd like to show you the test setup. Uh, in this part of the video, my sound might come differently because of I've changed the uh, microphone uh, as you can see the color mode which is the visual is important of this video not my voice and the color mode is dynamic it is important because when you change the mode it'll also affect the brightness level and the power mode or the eco, eco mode is of this projector is in the normal mode right now that's why you are hearing too much of a fan noise if i go echo fan noise goes down but we are going to be push the limits and use the echo mode and as you can see i haven't really uh, re-reset the lamp life and i've been using it in echo mode uh, all the time and 31 hours i've been using this projector over month couple of months probably more than one and a half months and the only hour I could have managed is 31. Probably this is two months old. So I don't even need a normal mode in this projector. This is how it is strong. By the way, you are seeing quite a lot less than I see because I have to dial down the settings because you have to see the brightest uh, of the screen and the dimmest of the screen. Otherwise, if I go uh, like normal level of my eyesight what i see you won't be seeing uh, extreme highlights uh, in the video so recording hdr is difficult and it won't do justice to your eyes i just dim the light level so what i see is much brighter than what you see but the purpose of this video is to show the difference between the lamps not the actual brightness of the projector so i will probably create another total review for this projector later on but not right now just focus on the difference in the screen as brightness and we are going to be playing this video from our uh, memory card 
so it won't be online lg uh, as you can read at the top lg oled colorful curves 4k footage that's the test standard let's just start while i wait the cooling of the projector lamps because i've tested at least two of them just how easy it is most of the projectors have some sort of opening area like i've used with benqs and optomas and epson is no different on this and it's quite easy you just unscrew the part on the opening and it might have more than one but epson made one and it has metal surface inside as you can see it's a little dirty because over the years and heat level high heat levels but we can clean it later on later on we will create a cool uh, cleaning video and i do have a flat screw and also the star style screw there are only two screws on this epson i already opened it and when you open up these two screws there is nothing else to hold it you just hold it from here up top but there is a caution it says hot it's really awfully hot you can really burn your hands before changing the bulb at least if you open your projector and use it for uh, half an hour or maybe one hour you definitely have to wait at least that amount that is how hot it is even after using it 10 minutes for testing i needed to wait like 10 or 20 minutes so how long you used wait that much after that you just hold it firmly and push it up and that's it this socket will come out this is epson only but it will apply probably uh, for a lot of projectors out there with the cased applied uh, lamps if you find a case applied lamps by the way this is the stock as you can see the dirt it is filled and i will show you the brand new side by side just take a look at those two one of them is awfully dirty and, and brand new this is an oem one the difference between oem one and the original one as you can see the original one it says epson on the top and it says the card but uh, the oem one doesn't say anything so it's same shape everything similar but it doesn't say anything but when we take a look at the just keep it here original uh bulb again that i purchased as you can see same logos same text uh, so this is 25 dollars the other one is 16 dollars with the case it's up to you what you want to use and we will change the original also in the second part Finally, we are at the conclusion part. In this part, I'm going to tell you what my choice is and how you should be choosing your bulbs according to this installation. So all the things that I'm going to say, it's not just about going to be an Epson brand projectors, but in general, this cost me about 16 point plus point three or something dollars. And this was about 25.5 dollars. And this was a pretty much a problem to install. It took about 20 minutes. I just fastened the video. I might be put the detail video uploaded to YouTube and under the description of this video, you might want to check how it's going to take uh, time and how it's going to cost problems to you when installing. I am good with DIY. 
Uh, over 15 or 20 years, I've been in the IT business. I do my water blocks. I do custom PCs. I also do some sort of do-it-yourself furniture upgrade. I am good with Dremel and, you know, drills and screws, screwdrivers and stuff. So I'm quite good with what I do with my hands. But still, I broke a couple of the plastics, like little ones. It's not important. It's still installable. But still, it took my time. What could go wrong with this installation? If you go to the bare bulb side of things, you can, if, if, if you just buy a bare bulb unit and if you just take the original inside the case of your projector and if you break things or if you couldn't install it properly and if you can't get it back with the original bulb itself, so you'll be saying your projector goodbye for a couple of weeks until the next bulb arrives. That's what's going to happen. If you're going to use it, use your projector like me, daily basis, like a TV, like a playing with the console or like uh, playing content. I'm using instead of a TV all the time, if you know my channel by now, although I have 65 inch TV, it might be just for my backup now because I have laser projector there, full HD projector over here, and I have a couple of projectors over here and there. So what I would do if I were you, I would go for the one with the case, and I wouldn't look for the price difference, like five or ten dollar price difference. Is it? It is really worth it. If you're not good with DIY, it will probably take longer than 15, 20 minutes. It will take an hour, and you might want to just slow down. You might need an extra hand because closing these things are a little difficult. It's like a watch. You need to know what you're doing, and you have only one option, like a rail system. You have to push it in, pull it out, kind of stuff. So all these details might be at the description of this video. I will just upload the video as a, uh, you know, without editing, uh, just 20 minutes of pain uh, installing this uh, original bulb inside of this case. So what I've learned over the process, in the earlier days of my projection life, I was always going for the original or at least OEM ones like this. But in this video, I want to compare them, the difference between the quality wise, it's not going to get you um, too much of a difference. I couldn't see it with my eyes. Like I felt a little bit difference, but you'll see, uh, you probably, if you didn't skip anything at all in this video, you've probably seen the same quality like I do. I couldn't find many difference to point out. This is the original new one. This is the old bulb and this is kind of like a, uh, OEM one, I couldn't see really the difference. So it doesn't matter what bulb you get. Of course, it matters about the life cycle of it, but the spend life cycle of the Epson TW650 is about 10,000 R on the echo mode and 4,000 about the normal mode. You can really go for the normal mode for this price. You'll see the price per hour is like 0.006 dollar kind of stuff, 0.00 plus. So it's thousand, you put one dollar and divide it into a thousand and just a couple of times more maybe, but still it's 0.00 something. It is quite less. You'll see the numbers on the screen again or in the beginning of the video. So I believe Changing the bulb is quite easy if you go this way, and I will recommend you to go this way. It doesn't work the hassle. But I bought two of the new bulbs, and I also right now using my regular bulb inside because it has still life in it. So I'm not going to change it because it didn't change any visual, uh, just brightness and the contrast is the same. If it were better, like the new ones were better, I would go for the new ones. But still, I will go to the end of this bulb's life. And for me, it's difficult to fill a lamp's life. Uh, I would still recommend you to check out a good second-hand market projectors because they have good optics and they have many functions. If you haven't watched my earlier videos, before buying a projector, I made a detailed video about wh uh, what to look out for. And I also compared the new cheap LED models and also professional projectors side by side with the differences. And I tell nearly everything about the lead cheap models, what could go wrong, and the good bulb models, what could go good or wrong again. So you have to decide your choices, but uh, $16 for this. And if you buy OEM bare bulb, not like me, I purchased original bulb, 
But if you probably buy a, if you have the skills of DIY and if you take, if you want to take the risk, and if maybe your projection is easier to change, like you might be having Optomas, Acers, BenQs, and some sort of, um, uh, I remember, Vivitech kind of. There are many brands out there. So if you want to change neck, probably one of the brands. If you if your projection uh, lamp is easy to remove the covers and change the bulb, naked bulb is easy, you might want to go that way. That way you can also get the price down, like probably this was 16. I will put the number of the bare bulb with an OEM one. Uh, I tend to go uh, as quality uh, OEM alternatives as possible. I purchased one of the most expensive ones. This is $16. So you might want to at least go in the mid-range level of things. I don't go too cheap. Uh, when you go too cheap, you have to, um, you know, other way pay the price of that choice. That's what I think at least. So let me know what you think. And if you have the recommendations for bulb brands, you might want to add uh, in the description below. And your uh, projection, uh, if the brand is different, cost might be different. Optoma EHD 35 had a $50, $50-$55 range of bulb, I remember. And if you go for the Epson original one, about $50-$55. But I didn't find anything different with the OEM ones. So uh, even if the life cycle is a little low, getting the 2,000, 3,000 hours of life uh, with the normal mode is difficult for me because I darken the room and I use most of the time echo mode. It is more than enough for me, even with the 135-inch-ish screen with the Epson. But if I go about 90 to 100, Normal mode is enough, uh, echo mode is more than enough, but if I go normal mode, it will be very great picture quality, uh, at least for me, for the full HD. So I highly recommend you to consider bulbs and changing the bulb of, like buying a second hand and changing the bulb and cleaning it up and using it for a long time. I do still think these devices have a, a long life cycle. I still do believe full hd is a very good quality until the uh, 100 inch and i use this device 135 inch it doesn't make me feel like hey this is too soft because i tend to enjoy the size of the screen and the picture that involves me like i dry dry myself find myself driven into the big screen when I play games with the 135 inch. Although I have 4K uh, Xiaomi uh, LED uh, projector over there, ultra short drove, I will be reviewing very different projectors time to time. You're going to be learning a lot of stuff. So your recommendations are important. Recommend me a brands, alternatives and ideas. Some of the crazy ideas I uh, plan it. Uh, some stuff is behind the camera. And probably I will shoot interesting videos. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe and like the videos because I shoot a lot of my videos at night after my child is in the sleep. Like after they sleep, I shoot the videos. So subscription, comments are important to growth of the channel. Uh, let me know what you think at the comment section below. Hope to see you in the next video. Home Cinema and Tech Review. Bye.